Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my fine dining version of a delicious Brazilian bite, a cochina. We're going to make the cochinas and serve them with a pink pepper mayo, chicken skin, and on the side a beautiful sambai and chicken tapioca broth. So, let's begin. First the cochina filling. Take two chicken legs and start by removing the skin. Keep the skin in your fridge for later. Now season the legs with salt on both sides. Then transfer the legs into a pan and cover them with sunflower oil or melted goose fat. Goose fat has a lot more flavor, but it's a bit harder to find in a normal grocery store. Now also add 3 cloves of garlic that are cut in half and then bring the oil to a simmer. Then turn down the heat to the lowest setting for around 3 hours. The chicken is done when the meat is falling off the bone. Once it's cooked, take the chicken out of the oil and clean the meat off the bones. Don't forget the taste test and then set the chicken aside for later. After that take one onion, cut it in half and clean it. Now chop it. It doesn't need to be super precise, a nice dice is fine. Then add a drizzle of oil to a hot pan and add the onion. Now take two cloves of garlic and cut it fine as well. Add them to the onion and season both with some salt. Once it starts to color, add two grams of curry powder and pan fry it for another two minutes. Then turn off the heat. Meanwhile, cut 5 grams of chives fine. Don't cut it too fine, you want to keep some texture. Add it to the pan with the comfy chicken and 100 grams of cream cheese. Now you can mix it by hand or as I prefer with a hand mixer. This saves so much time. Then cover it and let it cool down in your fridge. Once cold, roll the filling into balls that are around 10 to 12 grams. Keep them in your fridge for later. Now for the dough. First peel 200 grams of a floury potato and then cut 160 grams into even sized pieces. Submerge them in cold water and season with a generous amount of salt. Then bring this to a boil and boil till the potatoes are fully cooked. After that drain the water and let them steam dry for around 5 minutes. Once dry and still hot, press the cooked potato through a fine sieve using a ladle or a spatula. Now add 260 grams of chicken stock, 30 grams of butter and 3 grams of salt. While stirring, bring this to a boil. Then add 200 grams of flour and cook the mixture for 3 to 4 minutes. Be sure to keep mixing to create a nice and even dough. Then transfer it into a bowl, cover it and let it cool down out of the fridge. While it's cooling down we can make the little thyme bundles. These are optional, but I think it really gives a nice touch. For this, bind some springs of thyme together and cover the bundle twice. Be sure to use cooking rope and not something synthetic, because this will melt when deep frying. Then take the cool down dough and make little discs that are around 15 to 17 grams. Place a chicken bowl in the middle and gently form the dough together to create the signature drop shape. Be sure it's completely airtight. Now place a thyme bundle in every cochina and press it together so the bundle stays in place. Then we can breadcrumb them. First cover the dough with a layer of flour, then a layer of beaten egg and finally a layer of breadcrumbs. You can also use panko, but here I use breadcrumbs. If you like a thick crispy layer, add another layer of egg and breadcrumbs. I only added one layer. Then keep them in your fridge for later. Now the chicken skin crumble. Take the chicken skin and place it on a silicon sheet. Season with salt and then place another sheet on top. Then add another metal tray and bake it at 160 degrees Celsius for 40 to 45 minutes till golden brown and crispy. Now let it cool down and then chop it into a fine crumble. Spread it on a kitchen paper and then keep it dry and covered for later. Then the pink pepper mayonnaise. Mix 40 grams of egg yolk with 5 grams of pink pepper, 10 grams of mustard, 2 grams of wasabi, 4 drops of Tabasco, 20 grams of lime juice and 3 grams of salt. Now blend this till smooth. Then add 200 grams of a neutral oil. I use sunflower oil. Now blend it till it's fully emulsified. Then transfer it into a piping bottle and keep it in your fridge for later. Now the tapioca pearls. First boil 50 grams of tapioca pearls in some salted water for 10 minutes. Be sure it's a soft boil, otherwise the pearls might break. Then drain the water and transfer the pearls into a bowl. Directly add 50 grams of ponzu, 50 grams of sambaizu, 20 grams of soy sauce and 100 grams of chicken stock. Then gently mix it and let it set in your fridge for a couple of hours. The pearls will soak up a lot of the marinade and have a beautiful, rich and fresh flavor. Now for the broth. First pour a liter of a rich chicken stock in a pan and reduce it for 50%. Then turn off the heat and add 50 grams of ponzu, 50 grams of the sambaizu 
and 20 grams of lime juice. Mix this and then season it with soy sauce. Mix it once more and then give it a taste for seasoning. Then pass the broth to refine sieve. Now we can start to finish the muse. First heat up the broth and then deep fry the cochinas at 170 degrees celsius to golden brown. This takes around 4 minutes. I don't deep fry the thyme bundles because it will shrink, it will splash a lot and it might even burn. Then pipe a big dot of the mayonnaise on the plate and sprinkle some crispy chicken skin on top. Place the cochina next to it. Now add a tablespoon of the tapioca to a glass or a small bowl and finish it off with the lukewarm broth. Okay guys, that's it for today. I'm very happy with the result. The cochina looks amazing. I love the fact that it has like a little bundle on top with the, with the little rope and it's great for frying as well. I think it just brings it to a higher level. Um, it looks nice, it's practical as well. You don't need to do this obviously. And if you just want to eat a hundred, I wouldn't suggest doing it, just uh, bread them and then deep fry them, then it's great as well. Pink pepper mayo with the chicken skin, yeah, that's, that's a winner for sure, because chicken skin on anything is a great combination. Chicken skin for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, for snack, midnight snack, whatever. Chicken skin is always good at it. And then just this little uh, broth on the side, yeah, that's just... Yeah, it's delicious. It's fresh, it's vibrant, it's something you can eat uh, together and I think it works really well. And as a starter or as an amuse bush, uh, it's also a great beginning for your dinner because it will, yeah, it will freshen up your palate and get you ready for your other courses. I would suggest to start with this one and then the broth because then uh, you end with the fresher notes and that gets you ready for the remaining of the dinner. But it can work the other way around as well. Uh, because this ditch, this, sorry, this is a lot heavier. Um, but let's just dig in. I'm gonna take the little bundle out. You can also use it as a little, uh, yeah, holder for the food. Break it open and as a little bit. It smells incredible. All those lovely spices and the onion and the garlic, the comfy chicken. Let's just dig in. It. That's so good. It's so flavorful, especially with the mayonnaise. Yeah. But it works really, really well. It did turn soft a bit because, like always, the B roll taking pictures on, uh, yeah, it affects it a bit. But I had a couple steak straight from the fryer, and those were so crispy. But still, even when it they turn soft a bit, it's still very, very delicious. And then, mm, the little broth, it's so fresh. It has so much umami because of the sambai, because of the ponzu, and the little tapioca bulbs in the middle. It, yeah, it just, it freshens it up and yeah, this is just delicious. Mm. So guys, that's it for today, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Like and share the video and please subscribe if you want to support my channel and if you don't want to miss any other great recipes. I hope I'm still allowed to enter Brazil after this video. Um, let me know in the comments as well. Otherwise, I know not to book a ticket. But other than that, I wish you all a lovely day. Cheers. Bon appetit.